And then, well, out they come as um, civic cat poo. And this Balinese person noticed that actually the coffee bean is p only partly digested. This is the husk. And inside, the bean is retained in its perfect form. So don't think that drinking Balinese coffee from um, civic cat poo might taste of anything. It only tastes of pure beans, and it is the best coffee known to man, and also the most expensive. I love coffee, I love tea, I love the jazz. Well, back in Padstow, I thought it would be a very good idea to challenge my staff to a blind tasting of coffees. So we gathered together in the cafe courtyard just to see if they can actually tell if the Civic Cat Coffee does indeed stand out. So uh, here we are, it's all set up. We've got um, a Kenyan coffee, a Costa Rican coffee, and a Brazilian coffee. And there's an awful lot of coffee in Brazil, as we know. And finally, the, um, the Balinese Cat Poo Coffee. So which is which? It's going to be really interesting. Bring it on. Well, we move quickly through the various coffees in the hope of detecting something of the feline nature, but not too much, if you catch my drift. And then we were ready to decide which coffee might have come from a cat. Who thinks that coffee A is the Balinese cat poo coffee? Right. B. Who thinks that coffee B is the Balinese cat poo coffee? Thank goodness. <laughs> Coffee C. Who thinks that coffee C is a Balinese cat poo coffee? Zero. And finally, um, coffee D. Who thinks it? <laughs> Two. Right, here we go. Right, coffee A is Kenyan AA coffee. Yes. yes. <laughs> right. Coffee B. Well, what do you think? Yes! Yes! Hapu yes. yes. coffee! <laughs> well, there you go. Most of us got it right, apart from my son Jack and Paul, who are excellent chefs and supposed to have good palates, but... Cheers. Coffee and tea and the jam and me. Yeah. A cup, a cup, a cup, a cup. The rice fields of Bali are works of art in their own right. They go back over 2,000 years, creating these wonderful terraces 